Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to correctly slam a parable. Uh, a bunch of people have seen me slamming the parable on my YouTube, my Instagram, and my TikTok. Uh, Lopes Eternal Fitness on all platforms. Check it out, like, subscribe, follow, all that. Anyways, uh, so they've seen me slamming the parable on those platforms and they say I make it look easy, but then they try and they realize it's not that simple. So. I'm going to give you three simple tips to help you slam the ball correctly. If you do these three things, you will be able to have success. If you do not, you can run into trouble. So, the first step is to make sure that you squat down when you are slamming the para ball. Um, just like a med ball slam, a lot of people slam with just their arms. That is incorrect. You are to use your legs first, squatting down, and then you follow through with the arms. Same thing with the para ball. So you want to make sure that you squat down when you're slamming the para ball. Secondly, you want to make sure that you follow through. And by follow through, I mean think about slamming the para ball through the ground or through the floor if you're inside, as opposed to slamming it to the ground. So if you're trying to slam the para ball through the ground, uh, you will make sure that you follow through and you will not uh, let up too early. Uh, and the third. Uh, tip is to make sure that the parable after you slam it pulls you out of the squat as opposed to you standing up too early. Uh, if you stand up too early, just like if you don't follow through and just like if you do not squat in the first place, the parable will very likely hit you in the face. Uh, so you want to make sure you squat down, you're slamming the parable through the ground, not to the ground, and then let the parables uh, ricochet off the ground or floor pull you out of the squat as opposed to you standing up too early. So I'm going to show you the incorrect way first, not squatting, not following through, and standing up too early out of the squat, and then I'll show you what it looks like to do the three things correctly, squatting down, slamming the parable through the ground or floor, and then letting the parable pull you out of the squat. So when you're practicing these three principles of slamming the parable, I want you to keep doing the same side. So you're going to squat down, slam the parable through the ground, let the parable pull you out of the squat, corral it back in front of you, and then go back and slam the same direction. Uh, that'll make it simple so you can just focus on doing those three principles correctly, and then when you get those principles down, then you can try to move on to slamming it one way, corralling it. Slam it the other way. And then when you get comfortable with that, you can just keep adding, you know, different kind of swings that you do with your parable. Slamming, slamming, you can do 180s, you can do one arm, you can alternate. The, the, there's so many different uh, things you can do. Once you learn the basic principles of how to slam the parable uh, correctly without getting injured. So... Uh, practice those three principles and uh, let me know how it goes. Like, subscribe, give me a comment, let me know if uh, you need any more tips, uh, if this was helpful, uh, and have fun. Awesome. Take care.